everyone, welcome to... What is it now? Is it really 25th of February 2022? Where we have a lot of news, a lot of things going. Um, my name is Nabil, Forex Trader for 8 years, uh, trading, investing, whatever you call it. Let's go through some markets, let's go through, through some commodities, some, uh, some Forex, some stock market, some what is really going on. I don't know how up to date you are with the geopolitics, or if you're absolutely tired and exhausted by it. Well, that's totally up to you, totally up to us. So we will go through it. Um, cool. So what is really happening today is, tja, a lot. Um, is it only subscriber mode today in the comment section? I do apologize for that. I wasn't paper. I wasn't. That wasn't my plan. But there you go. You're very much welcome, and have a good day. Now we can all comment. There we go. So, <clears throat> Kazaza! Anthropas, hello, I've been welcome back, says uh, Driss. CJ! Uh, good old day. Uh, Kenny King is back home. Uh, hello, I got. Um, explain why there's a pullback. Um, I will go through that in great details. But today we're going to go through what is happening. So I'm currently on the five minutes chart, by the way. That's where I am. So I have I have activated my war, my war um, strategy that is unknown, secret, only known to myself, and I made it today. <laughs> if you have been to Discord lately, you might have been uh, over. Um, you may have been over shared by what I've done lately, but. Um, I think what really kind of what kind of really uh, explains everything that I've done lately is uh, is kind of this. This is what I've done lately. So um, for everyone who is has two pair of eyes, we are now looking at my screen and we're looking at a photo I posted into the Discord of me uh, sleeping uh, on uh, on an airplane. So I've been flying lately. Um, quite long hours and it has been very little sleep so I'm very exhausted I'm very tired I do apologize I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to complain it's all positivity but yes I am I am slow I do feel I'm slow so I'm just here to help you guys out and just to have fun you know so it's been a long day it's been a long week and um, maybe by tomorrow I might be able to so I'm saying I'm, I have said I'm on 50 percent 50 percent capacity and that's that content I know that is not good content, so just leave it alone. TXY on the farm in this chart. Um, okay, let's go through what is really happened. Okay, so Russia invades Ukraine. Market goes absolutely ballistic. Uh, and as I was in, in the air, it happened. So I had no control over the markets. I can't really trade from the, from the air. and didn't really want to trade from the air. So I didn't make much of that move. Fair enough. Then we have a big pullback, uh, what was it, uh, 17 hours into the move, we had a big pullback. And I went over with the, with the VIP today on, the, on, on Discord, and what I went through was, is this normal? Do we, is this acceptable market conditions for traders to trade? And my conclusion is yes, this is absolutely normal. Market has not crashed, market has not freaked out yet. Because there's a couple of there's a couple of fine lines left that is need to be that needs to be done before we go absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna give you a couple of points. Swift, NATO, that's what maybe before that even president. So whenever the president of Ukraine is taken down, taken out, abducted, taken away from power. So Ukraine becomes without a leader. That is to me a milestone. A milestone is when Russia is being kicked out of the SWIFT, which needs to be for every monetary transaction. Uh, at least in Europe, at least. So um, SWIFT was that for? I can't remember what this stands for, but it's for every banking transaction you need financial transaction you need SWIFT codes. And then, if NATO is being attacked, 
Because right now, which is very interestingly sad, is that NATO has not engaged himself. They said, well, well, if you if you attack Ukraine, you attack us. And then nobody is defending Ukraine. So, but if they attack any other NATO countries, then, if that makes sense for them, then we have a full-scale war, world war, um, and that is probably going to send the markets absolutely down, 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 down. So what has happened? They have closed trading in Russia for on stock on the stock exchange. Fair enough. Um, Gazprom is going to really suffer now because Europe doesn't want to buy any any gas or any anything from that. They don't want to, but they are probably going to do it anyways. They need to find some other sources. Uh, Japan says they are going to open up their oil reserves to so don't oil prices don't doesn't come too high. Um, and you know the different different things, but most of all, first of all, I should have said this in the beginning. I don't want war. I condemn the war, and I do not. I do not, in the end of circumstances, um, um, think this is ever going to be the ever be the best solution. I don't think this is the worst ever possible solution we could ever get out of this. I. I was I was I wasn't enjoying, but I was kind of looking forward to the tension. Tension is always always doesn't kill anyone, but uh, because all the rhetoric is all but political is all what they you know. But then now we actually have a full invasion of Ukraine. They are running for Kiev. They're running for the presidency. Um, that's not fun anymore. All right, cool. So, what are we good? What are you doing today with that information? Um, other than I feel for the R Ukrainian people, I think this is unfair. I think this is absolutely the worst, um, the worst ever decision he has ever made, Mister, 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 Mister Putin. But uh, I thought it was calculative. I thought it was clever, and now now it just looks like a dumb idiot. Anyways, um, turning himself into a czar. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there we go. So markets. Just let, just let me just go through the markets. We have a pullback. We have a higher high on S and P five hundred. We have a higher high on Nasdaq. We have a lower low ish now. Not so much. We have a low on DXY. Uh, Euro is currently making tia a higher high. Uh, pound is currently making tia something in between. New Zealand. Is actually making a higher high. Can you believe it? Okay, so pound yen is also making a higher high. Now, all this is all fun and games, right? Is it possible? Yeah, how is it possible? I'm shocked by the markets. Okay, anyways, oil. I'm actually literally shocked. I haven't. Well, I'm too exhausted to look at the charts every single minute. So, uh, oil isn't crazy at all. Nat gas is going back down. My entry I had a couple of days ago. On twenty on Friday last week, for a week ago, gold is trying to make lows. What is going on? So, my only answer is, market is back to being normal. Cheers. Okay, so what kind of information do we want today, people? I have 15 likes. Okay, so we need to boop it up. What do you want? Is it trade plans? Is it explanation of what is happening? Is it me laughing jokes? Uh, is it um? Is there is is it what I did for my travel? How I traveled? Is it the travel part? Or if it's how I surprised my wife? I never told her that I ever came. Or is it the lovely bouquet of flowers, red flowers I gave her? Um. Or well, the first kiss was was uh, a COVID kiss, whatever you call that, you know, masks on and stuff like that. Very. Or is it my coffee cup? You know. Cool. How is Kenya? It's hot. Um, I was so sleep deprived on the airplane that I forgot my passport in the airplane. Cheers. So I met everyone coming in front of me in the queue for the health for the screening. Cheers. Took me one hour to get, get through the airport. Pretty fast, actually. 
Yeah, so much for business class. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So that's kind of how my brain worked. I left my passport in the airplane. How am I supposed to get into Kenya then if I don't have a passport? Sad about trading is that a trader is with benefit from geopolitical events. Traders to traders. Yeah, I know. Uh, I actually turned off jokes on the Discord channel today uh, for the obvious reasons of. I just need to find out if that's the best time to be having jokes or if you can just leave it alone. I saw an Ukrainian joke in there. Um, so I'm just going to leave that closed for now. I can. I can, but, you know. Um, I'm just going to be, uh, I don't know. Uh, my brain doesn't work, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really do well. Uh, yeah. We want to know how much champagne you had during the flight. <laughs> Too much, actually. <laughs> it was a good one. It was a good one. It was a good one. <laughs> Actually, I tried to to to. Well, I I feel like I'm going to become an, like is it egoist like no selfish, self centered when you just post, you just post of things that is no uh, you know bothers you. But uh, yeah, it was a nice airplane. It was seven eight seven. Unfortunately, it was a two 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 configuration. But um, but uh, it was okay. It went well. I survived, came to Doha, alive, on time. I went on the air other airplane on time, well, and uh, yeah. But yeah, was that supposed? To, was it supposed to be Q Suite? I was supposed to have a Q Suite. No, but they had an aircraft change. So, anyways, that's that. Uh, but I came to Kenya. And my baggage was, or my, the content of my baggage was damaged. So I was very fearful of this microphone because I brought it. It's also in my check baggage, but it went okay in the end. Uh, so, I uh, yes, I survived. But um, the funny part is, I brought two frying pans <laughs> in this baggage. I'm I'm weird. I know it was a Jamie Oliver pan. It it's my favorite, anyways. So I brought it, and costumes didn't stop me. So if Kara is listening. It's gonna. I'm gonna take it back to Norway again. <laughs> I once left my flight ticket at toilet. <laughs> the way to Bhutan. <laughs> yeah, and then the screening before entering the flight in in, uh, in Oslo. Holy guacamole! It was like interrogation. Do you have PCR test? Yes. Do you have proof of COVID? Yes. Do you have? Do you have? Uh, do, are, are you vaccinated? No. What? Why not? Well, I have exemption. Well, do you have doctor sorties? Do you have the? Jesus, unbelievable! Also, it's. I don't know. Like the only the only thing they didn't check was was my armholes. I feel like. And then yes, I also I was also I was also body searched in uh, in security in uh, in the security. So I had a full package, bro. This is bad. <laughs> Ah, so what can you do, people? Uh, yeah, it was. I can talk about this for a long time. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, so I slept one hour because I was so packed with things going on on Tuesday. Uh, did a lot, and I started packing at eleven p.m. Done at four. Slept until five thirty, which is one and a half hours. You do the math. Um, took the bus to Oslo because the airplane costed. Four times the amount. I'm not cheap, but it costed me. It would cost me. What was it two thousand seven hundred instead of five hundred? And I would get to Oslo nicely with the bus. Where I would come to Oslo eight hours before my flight, and I will. What will I do in Oslo? So I took the bus. Fine. A Wi-Fi. It has power. It has USB. It was nice. It was comfortable. It was nice. Um, came to Oslo. Had to print out some documents. Went. Struggled with three big suitcases. I would never ever do that again. Never ever take two large, two bit, two largest suitcases and a travel suitcase, three suitcases, trying to push them on grab or anything. It was the worst ever decision. And then I basically, and I went to the hotel. They actually accepted to print out my documents for free. 
good on you choice hotels uh hotel uh, at uh, also central station thank you very much took the train to oslo took the train to oslo airport whatever checked in got searched got stripped got searched all the questions in the world um how was the gate the gate was good almost the I, I, I sat in the room for boarding, but I was on the other side of the, of, the wall, of the wall. Apparently, they were boarding on the other side of the wall. I didn't see it until I saw on the screen that, was, that the gate was closing. So I almost lost my flight. <laughs> no announcement. Anyways, durable goods orders um, coming in a couple of six minutes. Core PCE coming in a six minutes. Cool, 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 cool. Nothing is going to move the market like, uh, like a good old war, but other than that, cool. How long are you going to stay in Kenya? I do not know. That is not known. I have applied for three months. So there you go. I can change my ticket any moment, any day. So I'm good. Go back. Uh, Deep Hill says, how, the numbers of US data coming out of the markets in a few minutes. How will it affect the markets? Uh, no, not much. And this is not much. This is not much. Well, the only thing that can maybe do something is this one. Other than that, durable goods. No, it's, it's still medium. It's not, yeah, it's not really big and i don't want that i don't know why this has a red and on it it should be orange well this should be orange by the way it has importance but doesn't move the market of any time of how will... what is going what is the market doing now is this COVID again is it dollar bearish what is the market doing okay so make a rule then Let's make a rule. Out of the rule will ever work, but if it breaks now down below 96.78, we are technically bearish. I will say it again. If we break below previous low on DXY, we are technically bearish. And I am surprised by my fellow traders to be so bullish on the future. S&P 500 making a new high at the moment. That is now technically bullish. Congratulations on the one hour. Technically bullish. This can be, this can be until we have one of those three things I mentioned. Either NATO gets involved, the Ukrainian president is taken down, taken out, which I don't want, or they're kicked, and Russia's kicked out of the SWIFT, which is the interbanking system. Um, Rafael says, nice to see you online today. Hey, hey, bro. Um... Negative. EGTF full. EGTF full. Uh, nice to see you again. Nice since uh, since Senegal. Well, very much welcome, uh, my fellow African brother. brother. Uh, gold uh, down, crypto up. Yunus, to be honest with you, actually, unbelievably, yes, yes, that is what I see. Not what I want to see, but that's what I see. My brain tells me that. So. Let me go through the different trades. So, Aussie dollar is bullish when it crosses up above that price. I can't believe it. So, that's technically bullish. Euro is bullish on the one hour if it closes above that price. It can still fall, though. But I was bearish this morning, and I... I, I didn't... I didn't... I didn't trade it, actually. But I was, like, crisis mode, but... This is from COVID. This is what I learned from COVID, okay? Market falls hard long before the war is ever open or anything. Market is already bullish. I know this. This is this this is what we know, right? Goes to target very early. Comes back up again. That makes that low in the middle of somewhere. Makes a higher high and then it, you just continue higher. That is what they're going to do. Unbelievable. Pound, not the same situation, but still... Above that price of 134.40, we're going back up again. New Zealand dollar above um, 67, we're going higher. Unbelievable. Hi, good night. May gold rise again. Um, okay. I think you have to see major events for that to happen, such as 
maybe China joins the war because they've been going out and saying, well, we support this war. Uh, go you, uh, ch Russia, which is absolutely despicable, but whatever. Um, they also... Um, They so yeah so if the president of the of if the president of Ukraine is going down either taken out of power abducted killed whatever you call it it's going to be bad it's really going to be it's really going to be uh, a major event I don't know if that's going to create gold gold bullishness though but if there's any more attacks if there more if there is more like air airstrikes in Kiev Ukraine whatever I think yeah. I think that what I think that is the only way, but no. So if if there is airstrikes and still you know coming into Kiev, I think the next big one is is Russia taking over administratively over Ukraine as the next big step because everything else has been stepped over. They are very close to Kiev. They are just about to take over control. The president has gone into a bunker or something like that. That the last thing is for them to take over, right? And I'm following this Twitter, you no, know, this, uh, um, I'm just following this, this, uh, this despicable Telegram group. I think it's pro Russians. Somebody in my Discord posted it. I'm not going to post the group because I don't want you guys to see it. And I don't want to support this channel, but I can just reference it from it. Um,. Um, so they say that they have taken over an airport at Gostomel, blocking the west, blocking Kiev from west. Gostomel. Hope that doesn't give you anything bad results, uh, people. But um, that's in Ukraine. So that is that side. They have taken over that side, uh, apparently, and then, yeah, okay, yeah. So they have taken over an airport here, so they are literally outside, and most people would flew fly to the west, getting out of Kiev or south, so they can get down to like Moldova, Romania, Poland. You know, going that way, everyone will go that way. Uh, that way. So yeah. So is gold going to continue rising? I think that we are able. I think I think gold will f continue falling now. I'm not saying that's just my opinion. That's just you know my 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 intuition. If it goes back up again, then whatever. But right now the market has priced in there is an invasion of Ukraine. As long as NATO doesn't get involved, as long as it doesn't become a world war, as long as. As long as there's no major escalation, well, it's still very escalated, by the way. But if there is no more levels to it, no more, if if this is the onion, the size of the onion, if there's no more flakes, no more additions to the onion, I think we are, I think we are good enough. What's going on with this one? I don't know if you see is it's a use it CAD, use it CAD, or is it use spacing? I think it might happen in the next coming weeks. Um, yeah, so negotiation can be happening in any hours, uh, but it's all, it's all depending. It's all depending. So, so the thing about oil though, oil has been, well, as I said earlier, Japan is going to release there and probably other countries is going to, so oil isn't necessarily bound to go higher anymore. Mm. Yeah, the ne negotiation with that president of Ukraine... I see that diminishing every second because it's not really, uh, it's not really, uh, I don't think that's, I, I, I don't think that's pos possible anymore, according, uh, you know, why, would, why wouldn't they do it already, right? And I've also seen that uh, Antonov 225, I'm going to copy how that is. Copy selected text, and that is what else? Well, it's all sentimental, you know. But this aircraft here, it is one of the largest cargo airplanes in the world. Six, six engines. 
Um, so that's sad. I guess that's also compares with the Russian, um, with the Russian with 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 Russian airplanes as well. So there you go as well. So my it's a sad day. That's what it is. So trading wise, Aussie going higher. Okay. Then Feynman is charged to the upside. Not that I want that, but that's what it this it 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 in the, in the, the market currently is pricing in, and we are currently pricing in that this war has been priced into the market, and everyone is fine with that. And then we just go higher. <laughs> Euro dollar hasn't broken higher yet, so it's still not bullish, but it's at the breach of it so if it happens in any moments any anyways later on today or now or whatever this is the last stand of bullish of bearishness so get ready if you're dollar bear trigger happy people um yeah that's that other than that uh pound yen use the cat we can do that as well use the cat what is happening on use the cat i will remember it to be range bound but that's all old news i guess it has broken out after I came back. It's broken now lower. That is now turning bearish again. So five minutes again. Five minutes again. That is now turning resistance. So as long as that is holding, yeah, then whatever. Um, we might also see some, some at twenty eight, some resistance there, and if it has a bigger pullback. But I'm just really wondering what America is going to do with this session now. Is that really going to con con trade? going to create more dollar bearishness then okay then that it is what it is then then i'm just referring to what technically market is doing right now i'm not portraying my personal opinions onto this other than i'm saying that people is resistance but if it breaks higher than here that turns into support and then we turn into potentially bullish on a one hour time frame um and <clears throat> sorry and then I would also say that if you are, yeah, so turning a bullish again. So I really, well, I hope that, you know, this holds so we can go a bit lower again. This has lost that move, but by all means, people, by all means, it's, it's, um, it is what it is. So pound yen, what is the, what is the deal here? The deal was that we went lower. We passed the weekly target by far. But we did not pass the monthly. I don't think this passed the monthly target. This is the weekly target, way below, coming back up to resistance again. But as we remember in COVID times, if there is no more escalation of the of, of of the of the situation, this is going to be the low. So I think we might be. If there is, we might be up here in the end. By the way, uh, sorry, that's weekly. That's monthly. Okay, so weekly then. Uh, so yeah. And then I'm also expecting. Uh, which day is it? 16th bearish. I'm I'm expecting do dollar bearish next week, seasonality wise. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't look great, does it? Doesn't look great, does it? Um, do I have any good jokes? I don't have any good jokes. I, I, I pulled a good one on my on my on my wife the other day, but uh, it's. Knock knock. Who's there? Uh, Ach. Ach who? Hey, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have today. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Lots, lots. So wait, can you please put me into a better train? I'm just, ex I'm just disappointed in the market at the moment. And yeah, that's what I am. Disappointed everyone bought the bottom apparently. So So let's go through the events. Okay, let's go through the events. First of all Gold. <laughs> uh, so, let's 
So, an issue was invasion was dollar bullish, hits a psychological level on dollar, and go dollar bearish again. And number four, that's a full return. We haven't done full return yet, but that's a full return. Um, it depends on no escalation, no more, nor. And escal no more escalation is also not referring to them coming nearer uh, Kiev. The next es escalation is to take over the pr over the the control of the country. Sad. Yesterday morning, everyone was said, "Look at all, all is in sale in America." Yeah, you got a. I don't know what you said. What, what did you get? Two or three percent down. So twenty fourth. So this week we have gone down six percent, and that day we went down five percent down. Is gold going to eighteen fifty level? Uh, is that up or down? Uh, I would absolutely say yes, Erwin Kazim. Felix Menza says gold. We can do gold yet again. We have already done gold, but we can do it again. Uh, gold is currently dropping, and I would say we continue to drop. Um, I'm expecting it to fall further uh, because we hit our psychological level, or market hit, hit its psychological level. I didn't plan for that. And then we had a massive fall. And I think we're just going to continue falling at the moment. That's all my. That's all what I have for my uh, for my hips. Like it's initial reaction out of what happened in COVID. Kind of a reaction. Okay. So if you ever ever if we don't have any war in Europe yet, but if that if that happens, if there's a war, if it escal escalates into a war in Europe, uh, we have a we have really a really bad day. So, a non-defense capital goods orders X aircraft is 0 0.9. A core PCE is 5.2. Durable goods is 1.6. Wow. That tells you something about the future. That is saying that we're going to have more. I think it's, it's two or three months ahead or something like that. Like something ahead. I think it's two or three months. That's from my head at least. Might be wrong. That we might have this kind of economic growth. So that's really good economic growth in two to three months still. So, so far, so far, so good. Uh, I think that is okay. Um, what did Harold send me today? Okay, good. It wasn't uh, an aubergine today. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. All good. All good. While uh, while I reply back with micro bananas. Harold, did I send you the micro uh, avocado? I don't think I did. Did I? No, I didn't think. Yeah, okay, it is. Yeah, no, I only, only, yeah. Cool, so, USDSR, what's going on? Made a high, came back down. What are we gonna do? Good for, it's then supposed to be going lower, apparently. So, why could there be dollar bearishness now? Is it, le is it likely that Fed is going to increase less because now we have more risk in the market? Do we not so hot? The reason why dollar, why dollar would be strong is because of too high growth. Is growth going to go down now? That's going to be dollar bearish, by the way. Banana. Okay, I'm going to make my wife send me the uh, micro avocado. Um, then I've sent then I've sent you a micro banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that 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 that's high level. That's high level jokes there, people. That's high level. If if people just understood what I was talking about, everyone it, it will be so you know. That's a good joke there. I didn't even realize I was t talking it. But okay, cool. There we go.
pound Aussie's vertical, like it's going through the floor at the moment, because Aussie is getting so strong. Why is Aussie getting strong? What's happened to Aussie? What's Aussie making so strong after? Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting. Anyways, 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 anyways. So I'm just gonna do something. Let me see if I can do that. If I do that, what happens? Okay, I can stand like that. Cool. Because I'm just going to. I just need to. Oops. I just need to move my legs a bit because I've been sitting too much lately. Uh, two seconds. Wait. Wait. Uh, good. I'm better now. <laughs> Harold, did you take it? <laughs> oh. Did I make the reference? Oh, this is this is all jokes, internal jokes today. Um, I will tell you on Zoom. Um, no, nah, me neither. Me neither. To be honest, me neither. Uh, I will tell you on a Zoom meeting what I meant about it. <laughs> today, all the secrets is coming out, Harold. All the secrets. Uh... <laughs> Harold, okay, what do you mean by okay? Is that the only thing you can say? Come on, mate. Are oh, you on your school run or something? You can't really talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, see me, group. Updating them, and then should we do some trading now? Everything is so parabolic. Yeah, I think the parabolic. Also, pound is going. Pound is getting crushed. Why? Because of all the oligarchs settling their money. I've saved the secret for Zoom Zoom. Okay. <laughs> okay, the legs was a reference to Twitch, by the way. And what kind of content is on Twitch? I'm just trying to see if I can see any setup, like any good setups. But I'm struggling real time here. SMP. Also, it all has to come down there again, so maybe. Unless something happens, I'm just gonna check the news just to make sure that they don't, they tell me. Um, okay. Well, is he pull up the white flag? Yeah, this woman gave some sunflower seeds so that if he dies, it will grow flowers out of him. Weird. I don't know if that's positive or negative though. No one wants to do, wants to receive refugees. The EU will freeze Putin's funds. Yeah, that's at least what the minimum they could have done like a million years ago, but apparently not now. Oh, that's not right either, because that's is Moldova and uh, is Moldova NATO. Oh, it is a NATO ship. Uh oh. Again, it's not uh oh, but it's, uh, that's uh oh. Uh, tanker. Uh, okay. But a tanker was hit by missile. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that, that's just things that can make things go absolutely terrible out of control. Yeah. 
that's what can really make things totally go out of control at the moment. Um, if that happens, like if they start shooting at NATO ships and or NATO ally ships, oh, ouch. Yeah. <sighs> I'm just thinking of what can really make this one go where it is. Um, palladium, platinum, oil, copper, gold sector pullback on most of the recent move on warm news. Uh, even USD rub has bounced back. Yeah. Marka is falling too. Can we still trade Russian stocks? Nope. Uh, Russia has closed the stock market, and whenever that opens up again, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be a, yeah. It's gonna be a BB. That's what it's gonna be. I'm not the one to say that word, but it's a BB. BL. The the one B is bath. The other one is BL. They are quite volatile at the moment. As Lensky contacted Moscow when they invaded, they didn't take this call. Fair enough. Well, seems like seems like yeah, uh, seems like uh, they are just taking a full blown. Well, whatever. Um, with the break of one twenty-seven eighty, USD CAD has turned into te technically technically short-term bearish. And as long as it was still hold below 128, it's still technical bearish. Bear in mind, we can still see market pushing higher, going lower, depending on the news in any signal moment. But airstrikes has been priced in, invasion has been priced in. The only thing that has been priced in yet is the, I don't know, the death or the, la or the death or the capitalization of the Ukrainian government. And the financial systems. When that happens, if that happens, uh, that's terrible. He'll help me understand. If Russia attacks NATO country, does that mean NATO? Yeah, yeah, that is that is a full blown war. You attack one, you attack everyone. That's I don't know if this is the first article in the NATO check TT whatever it is called policy, but yeah, you attack one, you attack everyone. So if they attack Latvia, which is the next country to, uh, if they attack Latvia, that's also, Lita yeah, no, Lithuania, that's also, Latvia, Lithuania is also NATO, Poland is probably also NATO, Moldova is in NATO, Ukraine wants to go to NATO, so if they do that, yeah, um... And it probably happened somewhere in the sea somewhere. So, and this is also where there are a lot of Russian warships are in. Mariupol has been attacked. The next Luhansk, Kark Kharkov. I saw there was a Norwegian teleporter from there. I don't know why he went there. He was, oh, that's that's the front. You can just fly over above you people. And then you will be in big trouble. So I don't know how they're going to get him out though. But, um, and we also saw reports of home... Hustomel getting caught earlier today. So Kiev is yeah. Closing in on Kiev. Cyberbank shares down two hundred and ninety to nineteen three days. Yeah, it's probably gonna fall more. Poland and Romania are also NATO. So so all against Ukraine is against against Belarus and Norway also called it out. And condemned Belarus, White Russia, as we call it in Norway, for allowing Russia to use their ground to attack uh, Ukraine. So, if I was to say White Russia or Belarus is just as guilty, I think NATO and Russia, ex Soviet states, should negotiate. Also, yeah, also they, yeah, they should have done it a long time ago. Uh, and I still call upon them to do it, but uh, I'm just. You know, I'm not nobody, so um, maybe they do it in the end. But um, 
Also, do remember that is also Russian territory up here. That's also Russian territory up here. So, for whatever we do in the markets today, and it's go as it's going as well as it gets, that is turning into bullish, and it turned bullish today there. Okay, that's you know, a very bullish move, but still, it's technically not yet. But um, strange. Stranger than the stranger strangest. Uh, so, you know, it's it's all now. It's no longer politics. Even now, it's just you know, terrible after terrible. That's what it is. So I follow a guy called uh, Pilot Blog on YouTube. He is a Ukrainian Air International Airlines pilot. He is on the ground in Ukraine. In a village of apparently far away in Ukraine. So they say that everyone gets only 20 liters of gasoline. It's queues to high heavens to the gas stations. Um, there is no food. Uh, or there is food, but you know, you need more supplies coming in. So, yeah. Yeah, that's also why they don't want to want them to join. Yeah, and but also there was a... I don't know what I saw. What did I see? Okay, so first of all, people, there is a lot of history with with Ukraine and and Russia. Okay, this isn't born today. This goes back far back. So if you go back to the to the, to Soviet, um, because what Putin now projects that Ukraine is a part of Russia, you know, it's still a part of Russia, it still belongs to Russia and Soviet. So if you put that into the equation that they are still a part of it. Um, I would believe that they don't attack, they're only just saving their own people kind of a thing. So, so they, he said, I think he said that he, did he say that or he means that whenever during the, after the Second World War, where Soviet was divided up because it was holding quite, mem quite many member states in the Eastern Europe, like, like all of this was Russia. They gave it away. They gave it away, and then Ukraine becomes the biggest one of those, all and probably also Georgia as well, and like around here, it was a really big um, country. And then in, after the Second World War, they gave it away. It's really angry about that, and then the next presidents just allowed it, uh, and then now he wants to take it, take back Soviet. So he become so he becomes basically becomes the, becomes the czar of 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 the Russian Federation. Um, and it's very uncool to do, do that in 2022, to be, to be, to be frankly, uh, it's really uncool. So also if we can benefit financially from it because we know, hopefully we know what to do in whatever situation, but it's really sad. Mm. And they are culturally close, but after they, he, after they took over Krim, um, Ukraine went way more against, way more towards Europe and NATO. So, was it a poll? Sixty-seven of Ukrainians think they should join NATO or go towards Europe or something like that. I can't remember what the question was, but like they're very, 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 very pro um, Europe, and then it took over the eastern part here. That is some kind of separate counties now by by Russia standards, and also took over this one by Russian standards. Um, that means that there's less Russians to vote Russian pro Russia in Ukraine in the Ukrainian uh, uh, elections. So what they kind of will do now, I guess, to well, they will run down the government, take it away. Make them fly, make them go away, make them disappear. Put in a new one that is pro-Russia and forever rig this, forever rig the elections because they can't win with actual elections, uh, actual democratic elections, and turn this into Russia. But other than that, um, I think that's what they're. I think that's what he's trying to do now, by all means. So, is it weird? That's the only way to do it. 
uh, apparently according to according to Putin to to make another country marry you. So um, it's basically like well, I saw someone. I think I was it. What was it? In Facebook or whatever it was. Where I saw someone saying that Russia and Ukraine is like a toxic relationship. Where where they you know where and they were they were really really Russia wasn't was really not treating Ukraine very nicely during Soviet Union. And when they finally broke up in the 1990, 1990 finally when they broke up, Ukraine saw how the free, how freedom was. Now they want to turn it against Europe and democracy. But now that they see the toxic as husband is coming back again, but they don't want that. So that's probably the best analogy I've heard so far, at least. So other than that, yeah, cool. Um. So how is this week? How is this? So I think that there is going to be put a lot of weekend risk. So if you really want to stay in the market over the weekend, you you be my guest. Um, I think that if I'm going to make a weekly forecast, yeah, I probably will. I don't know how it's going to be though, uh, because it's I should probably just make I don't know a scalpers outlook because it's just just for Monday, and then see how things goes because we also have to have a plan for the week. But it can change every day, every moment, any minute it can change. So, to pay, make you come down to ground, let me do the summary. Trade your plan, plan your trades. If you think this is bullish, find support. If you think this is bearish, you have to wait for it to return back down again. Straightforward. Mark is still very reactive to major news, not any news, but major news, structural news, not just that it, they, not. They will not react to if they take took down an, another airport. I think they're taking down like ten military airports in Ukraine. That doesn't work anymore. So, other than that, um, market still behaving very nicely. Not nicely, but heavy. It doesn't. It hasn't freaked out yet, or it has freaked out, but it hasn't freaked out anymore. That's what I want to say. Swing trading is not available right now. Um, you can click it as much as you want, but swing trading is not its not available. So, stock market just opened up. Yeah. There's going to be a big gap up there, isn't it? 42.80, and we are at 43. So, stock market is going to, going to wake up at these prices-ish. So, yeah, gap up. Um, so, yeah. I think that's that. Uh, do you, you guys know when Nick is going to be alive? Does he tell you that? There you go. There is there is whatever happens. Um, I have a I have I have a question though. Do you think I will ever have more watches than this guy that I follow on YouTube? If that if I ever have more views than this guy, that kind of makes my day. Why? No, just friendly, friendly competition. But uh, he has 20,000 subscribers. I have 6,000. So if you can get more views than three times your subscriber, I'm pretty good. Uh, other than that, you're New Zealand. Nothing more. Nothing new. So what are we going to do now? Um, am I going to have a Zoom meeting tonight with... I'm going to have a Zoom meeting to, at some point. Hopefully it's tonight if I'm still awake and still have brains and all that. I'm going to have a Zoom meeting with everyone. I don't know if it's going to be everyone in mentorship, technical analysis group, uh, daily setups, or if it's going to be everyone, everyone, everyone. Maybe everyone, everyone, everyone. And then I will just post the link where, where only those who's behind paywall. Why is behind paywall? Because I am, I, I think, you know, it's just that's where I have storage. That's all. And everyone has access to it. So, but I can probably make another storage for everyone, but, but, um, that's another day. So right now I'm gonna take a nap, no jokes, and uh, I'm gonna wake up. And then Marcus has done whatever he's done. I am very, very carefree at the moment uh, about the markets. I'm just gonna do whatever he wants to do, and I'm not gonna trade. I'm not gonna chase it, and uh, I will probably not make money of it. But that's better than losing a bunch of money. Have a good day, people. Uh, I love you guys. Mwah.
See you soon.